What's up, it's Rob from Superhuman Bikes and today we're gonna be assembling this brand new Photon bike. A few things that will help with your assembly is a box cutter. I've got a pair of wire snips, you can use scissors, you don't really need this, but this will help you get the box open and take the packaging off. Let's go. First is just cutting the straps, then you're going to carefully lift this box up, watching out for the staples on the box. They are very sharp, fold each side over. Next thing, we'll be taking out any loose packaging from the bike and pulling the bike out of the box, easy. The bike will stand up on its own usually, so be careful here, get it nice and balanced. There are also a couple other things in the box. Somebody asked me the other day, I didn't get the tools with my bike. And they were just sitting at the bottom of the box. So make sure you look in here. We've got a charger in this box and some tools in this box that we'll need in just a minute. Now I'm gonna use those wire snips to just start taking this packaging off. Carefully undo all the zip ties. Set the seat aside for now. The one really big thing to watch out for here is to not scratch the paint. So make sure with your snip, scissors, box knife, whatever you use, that you're not going so deep as to scratch the paint. There it goes. So that wheel's off now. We're gonna need to balance this bike again. There we go. And we'll set the front wheel off to the side for now. We'll deal with this trash in a minute. Wow, look at that bike. What a beauty. I love this color. This is the liquid titanium color on the Photon. Get these handlebars. Be careful when you cut the handlebar zip ties not to cut through your brake lines, something like that. Normally I like to clean up all these zip ties and packaging, but We'll do that later, value your time in this video. I wanna see how long it takes to put together too. The next thing we're gonna do is install the handlebars and then I'll put that front wheel on. So handlebars, you're gonna need some tools that come in the box. Selectors, handlebars, could be, it looks like a five. Bingo, that's a five millimeter Allen key. We're gonna loosen up these stem plate bolts and get the angle for you. Just take all of these bolts out of the stem. An even better angle for you here. Don't lose these. Now what you can do is put those bolts right back into that stem plate and just hang on to that. We're gonna take the handlebars. Make sure you have the handlebars on the right side. That means the cables are coming straight down from the bars to the bottom of the bike here and that the brakes are on the correct position. The brake should be above the gear shifter here. The top of the brakes where it says Tektro should be facing up. The throttle is on the left here on my bike right now. We've got this middle index of the handlebars. This middle index of the handlebars is dead center with the stem plate. Now by hand, you can pop these bolts in, just get them started. Once they're started, get the tool back in and continue by hand. Don't go all the way, do a few turns at a, at a time in a diamond pattern. So we're going diagonal, 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 diagonal. What this will do is make it so that they are applying even pressure on your handlebars. You don't have one that's like super tight and one that's super loose. You can kind of use your eyeballs too to gauge the distance on this plate and the torsion you're putting on each screw here. Okay, these are starting to really tighten up. We want these pretty tight, but not so tight that you could damage the screw or the stem itself. It's about 10, 15, 20 pounds of pressure on your thumb there, maybe about 15 pounds with this tool right here. And that's good. Now these are really secure. All right, now that the handlebars are on, our next goal is to get the front tire on. So to do that, we do have a little block there and we have a block inside the brakes. Check that out. In the brakes right here, we're going to pull this card out that was right in between the brake calipers. That's just a protector. And then we'll pull this off and stick that wheel on. But first, it looks like I have some more zip ties to take care of. 
All right, there's one more zip tie I missed here on the front wheel. That has the quick release skewer. Do not throw this away. This is what holds your wheel onto the bike. We'll remove these discs here. It is possible to get these plastic protectors stuck in the wheel or portion of it. So just take your time and kind of wiggle that out. This is what protects the wheel from scratching your bike during shipment and also from messing up your brake disc. Boom. Now we will get the skewer out. And this is so important here with a skewer. Look at how this is for me, okay? I've got nut, spring facing in, blank, spring facing out, and the other side of this. It should be like that, and the wheel should be in between here. So it goes nut, spring, spring, nut on the other side. We're going to open this. That means we're unscrewing the nut, the side without the lever. We'll stick that on the side, and then we're going to lift the bike up and take this bottom protector off and slide this wheel in here, being very careful with the disc for the brakes that that slides right in place. I didn't have it high enough to start. There we go. Bingo, that just slotted in right there. That's right in there. Now, be careful with this step. It can help to have a friend too. Get your skewer in. Get your nut and spring on the other side. And the kickstand here would have helped, but I'm past that point. Okay, we're going to install, we're gonna install that nut and spring right here on the other side. Start tightening that by hand. And now what we're doing is we're tightening it. And then every few rotations, we're gonna test the tension on this lever here. And I can tell you right now that it's too tight. So I went too far, so I'm just gonna back the nut off on the other side and try it again. And that's about right. A little too loose, so I'll come forward just a bit. We want this thing to be tight enough that it's not gonna move during a ride, but also loose enough so that you'll be able to get it off again when you want to. Bingo. Now it's really starting to come together. Drop the kickstand. Wow, look at that bike. Cool. All right, our next step, we're gonna Put the seat in. Now this seat post is a slim line, low weight seat post. It does not have a quick release. So this is something new that we're doing on the Photon. And what you wanna do is get your seat in here and adjust it to the height that fits you. We'll need some tools for this and also to take that tape off. Here I've got my tools. So I'm just gonna take the tape off here. Don't take the tape off until you have the seat in and you're ready to get this thing tightened. The tape is here because this has a special seat clamp. It's like a low profile stealth seat clamp that's in the body of the bike. This is also five millimeter Allen key, okay? So we're going to adjust this seat to our liking. For me, that's about here. I'll stick the Allen key in. I'm holding tension on the other side with my finger. I'm just putting pressure on it with my finger on the other side so that one doesn't move and tightening this up. As I do it, I'm gonna come up here and make sure I've got the seat straight, almost. Back off and get it a little tighter now that that seat is completely straight. That's looking good. There's also a rubber sleeve on this seat. We can slide that rubber sleeve down and then it'll just make it look a little bit nicer right there. Last thing we've got is the pedals. What's so important with these pedals is that we have the right side. Okay, so this one says R on it. This one says L on it. So this is for the left, this is for the right. And the reason is the threads are different on these pedals. And when you're pedaling, because of the direction of the rotation, they're gonna self tighten. If you put them on the wrong way, they will self loosen. So the left one is counterintuitive. The left one is lefty tighty. Normally it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. The left pedal is lefty tighty. So we'll get this started going to the left here. You may need to little, put a little bit of pressure on this to get it started. 
the right side being righty tighty. Okay, that one went right in. I'm gonna tighten these by hand and then use the tool once they're almost there. We've got the tool in the bag here. It's the crescent wrench. Now let's get that left pedal in. I was, miss I was missing the mark a little bit. I had it at an angle on the left pedal. Now it's going right in. So don't force it. It's really important. If you force it, you can strip out your crank and you'll need to get a new crank generally, sometimes a new pedal. Okay, boom. Now again, we're, we're tightening that up pretty well, but not so much that it could damage the crank. On the right here, we're gonna use the tool, but we're going to the right instead of the left. You'll notice that in your box, you've got a couple other things. You have in here the reflectors and a mount for the reflectors. What I like to do with these is throw them in the trash. You can mount them on the front and back of your bike. The white goes in the front, the red goes in the back. I recommend if you're gonna be riding at night, you need to have a light. That's why I throw these reflectors out. They're not worth the plastic they're made with. However, it is a legal requirement to ship them with the bike, so that's why they're in the box. I always throw mine out. I think they look awful, and they definitely, definitely are nowhere near as safe as a light. So if I'm gonna ride at night, I'm definitely having a light on my bike. Be sure to do that if you uh, ride at night, which I'm sure you're gonna be doing on a Photon. So this bike is pretty much ready to go. Before we take off though, we wanna give it a once over, make sure that we've done a good job assembling it. There wasn't too much to it. 20 minutes while filming a video, okay? I'm holding both brakes here, giving it a test, making sure those brakes are really firm. I'm looking and inspecting, make sure, good, my handlebars are solid. There's no loose screws. Like it even sounds nice when I drop it. I don't hear anything shaking, nothing loose. Kickstand looks good. So I think now we can take it out for a ride. If you want to adjust this, by the way, the handlebars to suit your liking, you can loosen this uh, on both sides here, one here, one here. And these will go up or down. That's really awesome. You can move these brakes to fit your liking. Let's go for a ride. To turn the bike on, you just hold the power button here and there are three levels of pedal assist. One, two, three, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's go for a ride and see how this thing is. So again, we'll just turn it on here and I'm gonna go right to level three. Let's see how she feels. Oh yeah. Now, one thing to note on this bike is it has a torque sensor. So if you've been riding a baby maker or another bike, it may feel a little bit different. This one will react to how hard you're pressing on the pedals and give you an equivalent amount of power. So if it feels uh, like it's not giving you a ton of power, press harder on those pedals and you really feel it come in. Oh yeah, this is nice, super quiet. Turns well. My tires are a little underinflated. That's something you really should do when you put the bike together, is check the tire pressure on the bike. The recommended tire pressure is always gonna be on the side of the tires. Me personally, I use my fingers. I don't like it to be too hard or too soft. Goldilocks tires. Man, that is sweet. Woo! It's good. You know, one thing I forgot to do is test the throttle. Let's try that. Throttle only. No pedaling, just the throttle here. Oh yeah, ribs. <laughs> there you have it. 
that is the photon and liquid titanium. One other thing I want to mention to you is the serial number for this bike is right here. It's on the head tube of the bike. As soon as you get this bike, please, please take this serial number, write it down, and save it somewhere safe in your notes app of your phone, take a picture of it, do whatever you need to do. Because if your bike ever gets stolen, God forbid that happens, you'll need this serial number to recover it. I've lost a few bikes and the police have recovered them with that serial number. If you don't have it, you're gonna be out of luck. So please write it down and keep it in a safe place. That's it for the Photon Assembly. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this at all, feel free to leave them as a comment on the video and we will see you in the next one.